What do I do about Adobe Flash end of life in 2020? Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for askleo.com, where I've been talking about software, end of life, and more since 2003. Adobe Flash Player is going away at the end of 2020, completely. Most major browsers are gonna stop supporting it, and websites that rely on it are going to stop working. What can you do about it? Nothing. Seriously, there's really nothing you can do. The good news is there's nothing you should need to do because everything, ideally, will keep working. Unfortunately, as you know, this is less than an ideal world. Adobe Flash is a combination programming language and uh, runtime environment software that gets installed on your machine. That was one of the internet's early attempts at providing a way to make websites and other things richer. And by richer, I mean more animated, more interactive, more colorful, more like programs rather than just pages of text and pictures to read. Adobe Flash Hat was very, very popular. Um, in fact, it was one of those things that um, everybody used to display video. It's how you did video online. YouTube itself used Adobe Flash as the delivery mechanism for its videos for many, many years. They don't anymore, but they did. Adobe announced an official end of life of December the 31st of this year, 2020. They announced this multiple years ago. So everybody's had lots of warning. They've been providing you know, security patches. They've, there's been no development on Adobe Flash for years. They've been doing some security updates, but not very many. And very slowly, web browsers, which is where Flash is really, I'll say, interacted with the most, have slowly been dropping support or announcing their own drop of support. Apple's Safari browser, for example, hasn't supported it for a while. And like I said, I think it's Chrome and Edge and a few others have announced that, yep, at the end of the year, it's gone. It's not going to work. So what do people do if they're not doing it with Flash? Well, that's what HTML version 5 is all about. HTML is the language of the Internet. It's the language that web pages are written in. And in version 5's definition, they included many features intended specifically to replace or be the kinds of things that would support what Adobe Flash had been used for in the past. As an example, video. Wherever you're watching this video, the web page you're looking at is probably encoded in HTML using HTML5 and HTML5's built-in support for video something that HTML4 didn't have. So HTML5 is intended to replace essentially almost all use of Adobe Flash. The problem, of course, is that it's not compatible technology. You can't just take an Adobe Flash written web page or application and have it run in HTML5. You need to essentially rewrite it pretty much from scratch. And that's what people have been doing. Uh, certainly in my own case, hosting videos on Ask Leo, I changed some years ago the way that I embed videos. Videos are now embedded using HTML5. In the past, they hadn't been. Everybody that had a Flash web page or Flash-based functionality is faced with that exact same situation. They have two choices, recode or rewrite that application or page to not use Adobe Flash, to use something else, or abandon it. Take it down if they like, but it's going to stop working sometime very, very soon. So what does that really mean to you and me? Well, our options are limited, right? You're already using a web browser that supports Flash's replacement. There's no reason, 
certainly after the end of the year, for you to even have Flash installed on your machine. Fact is, it may not be installed now. In fact, you're probably safe to uninstall it if it is. But the bottom line is, you're not in control of what's being changed here. You have all the tools you need right now to work with Flash's replacement. It's the website owners and developers on whom the burden rests. And if they don't update their pages, if they don't update their applications, you and I can do very little. The only thing we can do is stop using that website or application and complain to the website or application owner and hope that they have a suitable replacement. That's it. That's what's in your control. It's not something that we have control over. It's just something we have to deal with. The question I often get asked um, as sort of a coda to this whole thing, the question that I often get asked is, what's wrong with Adobe Flash? Why are they taking it away? Adobe Flash, for one thing, is very, very old. It's initially written before we really understood how widely used it would be. It wasn't written with the best of security in mind. And it wasn't written, I'll just say, very well. This isn't like a judgment of their software per se by looking at the software. This is actually empirical. Over the years, many, many exploits were found in Adobe Flash. And apparently the people fixing it realized that the code that makes up Adobe Flash, the fundamental way it's designed, is just something that's risky. It's just something that is probably going to get exploited more and more if people continue to use it more and more. So they opted for what I often refer to as the nuclear solution. Get rid of it. Start over from scratch. And rather than rebuilding Adobe Flash, they said, let's make this an open standard in HTML rather than a proprietary standard owned by a company. That's the story behind Adobe Flash. It is going away at the end of the year, and there's nothing you should have to do about it. For updates, for links related to this article on which this video was originally based, for comments and more, visit askleo.com slash 127713. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.